Hi right, guys, everybody. Welcome back to another video of, of a Path of Excel build I did. I promise I'll have some other content soon for this YouTube channel. I've been kind of just like out of... I've been both sick and kind of like doing whatever, so... Crunch time at work and all that. Uh, so this is uh, another build I've made, and it's uh, a Righteous Fire Marauder, which is uh, something that's uh, not exactly uncommon to the game. Uh, I, it's nothing, if you know what this is, and it's probably nothing special to you, but uh, to me it's something I've always wanted to make since the game came out. And uh, uh, mostly the, the game re revolves around this one ability called uh, Righteous Fire, which I have on my offhand. Uh, and that's it right here. So you basically burn for uh, your maximum life and your energy shield as fire damage to yourself, and then you burn for a percentage of that damage as well to everything around you. Uh, so it's basically you're killing yourself the ability uh, and you kind of just run around and kind of just light everything on fire. So on that I also have uh, air of effect uh, in power which isn't leveled yet and some more burning damage on a searing touch staff. Uh, so that's basically how, how the build works. Um, it's just this ability mostly. Uh, I use uh, ethereal knives with the uh, well, it basically it has iron will because I have a lot of strength, although really I probably shouldn't be using that, but anyways. Uh, blood magic, life leech, faster casting. And then I have, um, this This shield is what makes this build possible because to get the max amount of uh, fire uh, resistance to mi mitigate the fire damage to yourself, this shield is what makes it possible. It's 8% to fi maximum fire resistance, so this is really, really, really nice. Uh, it's... It's an expensive shield, though. This is the part that makes the build really expensive. It's like two and a half exalts, although I got it for like one and a half because I scammed the guy completely by accident. I totally didn't mean to. I just forgot to put like a couple of the currency in there. So yeah, this fucking I'm, I'm, I'm a horrible person. What can I say? Um, there's really nothing else, uh, but like my armor is absolute garbage. Uh, there's nothing else really about this build that's, oh, also I had the, sorry. Uh, there's one other thing. I use the Blood Dance uh, Shark Skin Boots to raise my uh, uh, life regenerated uh, life regeneration a bit more, and life regeneration is a big part of this build, as you'll see. Because as you know, as you know, um, you're taking f you're taking loads of fire damage um, as your maximum life, basically. So to mitigate that, we basically go to everywhere in the tree that we can possibly get uh, life regeneration, uh, no exceptions at all. Because uh, uh, the more life regeneration I have, the less damage I'll take from Righteous Fire, obviously. So I have all the life regeneration I can possibly get in the tree. And uh, also some burning damage. Also some aura nodes as well, just to make it so that... Uh, whatever. Yeah, just uh, As I said, this build is all based upon life and, and life regeneration. That's all it is. That's all you stack. Because uh, Righteous Fire doesn't require any mana. Uh, I also managed to grab Iron Reflexes, uh, so this is like one of the only builds I now run, like something like Iron Reflexes, which is interesting. I um, also have Elemental Equilibrium. The reason I do that is because Burning doesn't actually proc this, uh, which is basically whenever I hit someone with Elemental damage, uh, they basically gain 25% uh, resistance to that element and f negative 50 to all the other elements. And so whenever I have a cast on damage taken, with a, just a level 1 ice dome, so whenever I take enough damage, I'll just ice over the fuck out of them. And th it'll proc that, meaning they'll t they'll get negative 50% to fire resistance, but since I'm burning them, it doesn't actually proc uh, the elemental equilibrium, so... It's just it's, It's basically just free 50% damage, it's, that's all it is. Uh, and it only costs one node. And uh, that's basically it. Oh, and one of the other important things is I also got this elemental ad adaptation, which raises all my maximum fire resistances by 2. So that's basically it for that. Um, I I have basically frenzy to get my uh, get my charges back for my for my frenzy because I also get it from the blood dance whenever I kill stuff. But if I am fighting a boss or something, I'll use that to keep it up. Uh, I got flammability to increase the fire damage, devouring totem just to eat corpses and also regenerate life because this is like a really odd build. Life l lightning warp just to warp around and then obviously throw knives. So let's go run a little map, uh, once again, uh, just to kind of show it off, uh, how dangerous this fucking build is. It's just, that, I think that's the main problem with it, so I'm gonna be running 
Grace, which automatically turns into armor. Whoops. Um, it would help if I just didn't get rid of it. Uh, I also run Vitality here because Vitality will raise my uh, life regeneration once again. That's very important. And then Purity of Fire, which is uh, unfortunately not really leveled up all that much. And is basically reserves all my mana away. Uh, but all my mana, all my abilities run on uh, uh, Blood Magic. Uh, so I don't have to worry about that. So all it does is it takes it away. Like, you can kind of see it taking away from my uh, life. and But I have so much damn life resist, uh, regeneration that it's like 448 life per second. Which is not the, necessarily on the high end. There's a lot of things I can do to make this build even better. Uh, but, you know, this is this is kind of what I got so far. I also have two flasks, one to remove bleeding, uh, one to remove curses. Curses are really bad. Some of the curses can really fucking damage you a lot because you're killing yourself and then there's curses that will kill yourself even faster. So that's always really great. Uh, so I use fire resistance instead of, uh, uh, sorry, fire resistance potions instead of uh, uh, life potions because, honestly, this is basically like a life potion. I basically get my... my uh, uh, my life regeneration, which is basically like using a flask, so uh, I'd prefer that. I get a granite uh, flask just for uh, more armor, and then a uh, quicksilver just for more movement speed and moving around really quickly. Because honestly, when you're when you're killing yourself as fast as I am, you really need to go really fast. And then I have an emergency potion that uh, is instant recovery and dispels burning. So in case of emergency, I'll just I'll fucking mash that and run the fuck away. Because whenever I dispel burning, it will remove the righteous fire effect. So that's basically it. Uh, so let's show off the build. Uh, so the uh, map I'm going to be showing you today is some more rare monsters and cannot be stunned on a dried lake map. So let's run that. So uh, unfortunately, I have to recast righteous fire every time I go in. There's a lot of ways to cast righteous fire. But basically, the best way to do it is to have an offhand weapon or weapons. And just, uh, the thing is, when you cast it, uh, it will take all the uh, all the benefits of having the Searing Touch, like the more burning damage, the fire damage, the spell damage, and all that. And it'll apply it to the degen that I have around me. Uh, you can also use a, a sword called Bright Beast, which makes you go onto, when you go onto low life, you get 100% more spell damage. Uh, that's, that is really effective. I don't do that because I don't really want to get onto low life uh, when I'm in an area because I have to recast it every time and when I'm on low life that means I'm probably going to die uh, if something just jumps onto me. So all I do is I just cast it, switch again to my other hand and then that's how fast my life uh, degenerates. Uh, I can put in, I don't really have that much fire resistance, that's not the main problem, like it's 87 which you can cap it at 95 um, but you know, this is kind of just what I do. So this is this is without any of the uh, auras, uh, sorry, without any of the, the stuff like this. So as you can see, I just get to kind of run around. Now the one, my main counter uh, with this uh, ability is I can't actually attack totems. I have to attack it manually, and this is what Ethereal Knives is for, because they are not affected by degens. So we do, we can just kind of just run around, annoy the hell out of everybody. And as you can see, I have frenzy charges up because I'm just running around and killing stuff. And it's a it's a pretty cool it's a pretty cool uh, it's a pretty cool like ability. I really like righteous fire. I wish I could use it more for stuff like uh, like I don't even know like I I, I can't really it it has it's really one dimensional because you have to absolutely get that that I don't know you got to use the D gen basically. And you have to get all the life regeneration from the tree. So there's, there's really my only problem with this ability is it's a very one-dimensional build, and also it has it's it's weak as hell. It is weak as hell. Like I'm playing a marauder. Marauder is like supposedly a tanky class. It's it's fucking awful. Oh look, he's fractured. I I mean it doesn't look like it, but the thing is there's a lot of bosses in this game that do a lot of melee damage. Um, I don't go near them. So here's me just getting my uh, frenzy charges back, so I can do that all day. It just it does like absolutely no damage. Oh look, some shit leveled up. Wow, it's amazing. Increased area of effect leveled. So you know what? Let's let's recast it. So I'll show you what happens when I have to recast it. And also sometimes I'm I'm not near everybody. Like uh, there's a desync issue with this sometimes. Okay, so I press my potion. It gets rid of righteous fire. I go back to it. I recast it. Now I have an increased area of effect. Um, 
you may not notice it because it was such a small bonus, but you know, I, I do have it. So that guy, like you can see, like I wasn't really close to. It. I don't know when I see when I show you. I'll show you again when I when I have that issue. Like they look like they're in my radius, but they're really not. Because it's it, it's the server that determines this kind of stuff. And so this is obviously a really good ability against like yeah, look, look at that, just like a fractured guy right there. I, I just, it's it's the most laziest of things. Yeah, but since I'm so close range, the thing is I have no options. I can't go long range. And so there's a lot of maps I won't do because um, the bosses just terrify me. Because if they hit me once, like already as it is, I'm pretty weak. Like I do have like a 42% damage mitigation. But, and I also get like some some endurance charges whenever they hit me. Oh, uh, they're, they're about to go all Soul Conduit. Why didn't, why didn't he Soul Conduit? I don't know, now he did. This guy's so irritating. So there you go, see I just OOS'd and uh, I, I did the out of sync macro or whatever. And I was actually really far away from him. So, that, that's what I mean, like I have to do that every once in a while. You're gonna see my health fluctuate a lot, because uh, it's just like I'm regenerating. I do have a bit of leech though, like I can, I can, I can leech things if I really want to. It, it trust me, it, it oh, that's because I have vulnerability. That's why I took a lot of damage there. Okay, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. So that the, the little thing you saw over my head, that was a vulnerability curse. Um, what that does is whenever. Uh, it does a lot of things. It basically, I take more physical damage. Um, it's one of the really bad ones, mostly because I also take more damage from damage over time effects, and so that could be like stuff like poison or, or I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of damage over time effects in this game. Uh, the main reason that's really bad for me is obviously because uh, I'll get over here. Obviously, because what I'm using right now is a damage over time. This counts as a, as a damage over time effect. So, it's it's kind of not good. Anyway, so this guy is not what I would call uh, map viable. Um, it's fun to kind of just dick around and level with, and like, but like I wouldn't do high level maps with it. Although it really looks like you can clear it really fast. Like I'm not even at the full potential of my build because remember, the more life I get, the the higher damage I'll do. That's what makes it amazing. I'm just gonna get my frenzy charges back, and there you go. And we can cut. So look, look, I can just kind of like, just run around them. There's not a lot of characters that can kind of just do this, just mess around. And, like it's a nice AOE. It's like the closer you get to me, the, the, the more effective I am. Oh, there's a storm herald somewhere there. So this is this is a nemesis character, by the way. So it's it's perma death, and uh, you know it it can be. It can be pretty frightening because I think the entire time I was leveling this character, I just I, I have close calls all the fucking time. So it's a it's a fucking miracle that he made it in, he made it this far, anyways. But it's just like there's also a lot of map mods which are also really bad for this guy. Like uh, anything that slows down his health regeneration or blood magic, it's just it's just a no because if I if I have blood magic, it means I can't run my auras because they would be based upon my health instead. And if they're based upon my health, it means uh, I have less health, and that means I can't cast them at all. Uh, they they really fucked over blood magic in the, in the, the latest patch, or like the more the re more recent uh, the the the, the one where they release the game because all the ore is a percentage based, so they take a percent of your life. That means, and that means you're gonna fucking die if you if you use any of them. It's awful. All right, let's keep looking around. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll just go towards the boss area. But, it, you know, it's, it, it is fun. I, I do like this. Uh, I, I was happy I made it at least once, but would I ever make it again? Uh, the, the answer is probably not, because it's just... Once is enough, because uh, there's it's not something that like is viable every single time. It's just kind of like, it's it's just hilarious. Moments. It's just something fun you can do when you have like a lot more money and shit and, and shit in this game. I can burn them really fast. It's like a pyro build, you know. You never thought you'd see the day, but Mike made a pyro build. 
You know, fire mechanics can be fun. It just has to be, in my opinion, done the right way. All right, let's go kill this soul eater. Don't kill me. Uh, do you, I like how like things are just walking next to me and they're just dying. You can get this radius really high. I just I, I'm I'm working on it. What can I say? I don't know if this guy's gonna get stronger later, but it's just as it is. There's a lot of map mods. This guy just can't run. And I don't know. Like I, if I'm cursed with like anything that lo like lowers. Oh, here's here we have a corrupted blood. All right. That's an imperial bow. Let's chance that motherfucker. All right, here we're gonna get fucking lion eyes on on stream. Here we go. Uh, not stream. It's not stream. I'm uh, doing a, doing an internet video. Uh, I, I sometimes get confused. What can I say? Oh man. As you can see, it's just it's just basically unfair how fucking effective this guy is. But it's just like as I said, it's it's. The one hitting from bosses, because my health gets pretty low as it is. Because I'm I'm fighting mostly just range people. I don't have any. I don't have a whole lot of defensive uh, options, unfortunately. It, it would probably help if I had like better armor or something. Like I maybe it's maybe it's just a matter of the fact that this guy is just severely undergeared. But it's just basically like you know mele anything melee range in this game is just really you're in for a bad time. I mean, the, like, the most I have for range is eth Ethereal Knives, and that's, like... Honestly, Ethereal Knives I've always found to be a rather, like, not uninteresting ability, because it's just... This is all it is. You can in increase the range in a couple of ways. Like, you can, do, like, do faster projectiles on it, and they, they go further, I guess. Uh, but it's honestly... It's not that interesting. It really isn't. I, I don't I don't like the ability that much. Why am I using it? Because it's physical damage and will not... Pro oh, here's the boss, by the way. And he's dead. Uh, it doesn't... It, I have to use a physical... This is a physical spell, basically, and I have to use it so I don't proc equi equi uh, elemental equilibrium. Because if I do that, then he's probably gonna... He's gonna get resist to whatever I, I'm, I'm... Or whatever I'm attacking is gonna get resist all the time. To... Whatever whatever ability I'd be using. Like, if I use, like, fireball, then they'd get fire resistance. That's terrible for righteous fire, because then they'd always have, like, resistance to fire. No, it's just it's it's not cool. Also, I didn't even look at the boss's drops, but it looked pretty shitty actually. It's a bad map. Let's, let's go just look at the drops for a sec. Uh, nothing. Okay. We're looking for mostly we pick up rares and maybe like some interesting socket abilities. Okay, this guy I'm not, I don't want to go near. So I, I do have some range, just not enough. Get over here. It's not very. It's 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 a fun. It's fun. Like don't don't get, don't get me wrong. I, I really like it. I'm glad I did it. Uh, it's just I can't make it work for the end game content. I really can't. Just not possible. How's there more than twenty monsters left? There's like there's like a group around here somewhere. I hear a zombie right here. Oh, okay. I, I just I left fucking twenty of them scattered in here. And like, and shit hurts, because, you know, I don't have any, I, I guess I'm kind of spoiled by the evasion characters I made, because it's just, I can't dodge anything anymore. And it fucking hurts, all of it. I know, you think, you'd think stacking life and, and armor and, and shit like that would be very viable, but it's, it's kind of, it doesn't feel that way, it really doesn't. Look at this guy, oh, he's immune. And he's camouflaged. And he's dead. Alright. One monster remains. Do you really care about this guy? Oh, here he is. See, there you go. Once again, I'm, I'm outside of the, the radius. And that's it. We're done. See, no, nothing bad happened. And that's basically the end of the build. And that was a really bad map. I got, like, bullshit out of it. So, you know, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and, you know, and it's, it's an interesting build. I would definitely try it. Uh... You know, at least once. You always got to make this kind of build once, but there's there's very severe limitations on him. So, I don't know. So until next time, I'll uh, see you for...
whatever build or whatever, or maybe an actual Let's Plays next. So take care, guys.